Hi friends, I am very excited to be partnering with Care Of as the sponsor of today's relaxation. Care Of is a health and wellness company that offers a curated set of vitamins and supplements that are designed to work with research-backed ingredients and optimal doses. I've been wanting to try them out for a while as I've really been struggling to get on top of my vitamins. I started out by taking their online quiz to get personalized recommendations for my body. I was suggested rhodiola for stress management as well as the sleep blend to help me stay asleep at night. I'm also taking a prebiotic for gut health and that's definitely where I've noticed the biggest difference. I used to have stomach discomfort pretty much every single day and now I just feel a lot more settled. The biggest perk is definitely the convenience. I'm a really busy person and I appreciate any time I can accomplish a task without having to think too much about it. Getting care of delivered to my door and having each day be pre-packed for me means all I have to do is grab a note and feel better. I was also really pleased to see that the film is compostable because I want to do not only what's best for my body but the world around me as well. If you want to see what vitamins you'd be recommended, use my code CHILLWITHME for 50% off subscription items in your first care of order. Thank you again to care of for sponsoring today's video. Now relax and enjoy. Hi Claudia. Hi. Welcome to your Reiki session. We're going to be reviewing the current energies that your body's emitting, getting a sense for your aura. This is your first session with me. Have you ever had a Reiki session before? No. no? Okay. So the energy is probably going to be feeling a little bit disturbed and fragile, like what's happening, right? Um, that's okay. If, if feelings come up, if thoughts come up, let those things happen, but then try and let them go as well. You know, have them come up and out um, and we'll keep working. Anything in particular that's bothering today, any excessive stress or something on your mind that you want me to pay attention to? Not really. All right. So just close the eyes. And I'll sometimes work off the body. You'll hear some sounds. You may feel some airflow. Um, you may also feel some heat and tingling just from the energy moving around. But then I'll also work on the body occasion as well. Um, so you'll feel a mix of techniques. If anything bothers you, though, please let me know. Reiki should be a very healing um, personal experience that we may have to tailor for you, okay? So I'll start with the sense. See what you need. This will be just off the body. I'm definitely feeling a little bit of cloudiness in the third eye in the head chakra. So why don't we start with that and go from there. I'll just confirm it with my stone here of what exactly we should tackle. I'll place one cool stone right on the forehead here. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to ground it to that third eye. Just getting small circles, little back and forth. It's actually quite stagnant for, sometimes we expect a little bit more movement here in the mind, in the mind's eye. So that could just mean that you are feeling a little creatively blocked. So let's focus on that and apply my bracelets. It just enhances my ability to control the energy. And I'll prepare the room. Wiping it down with the warm candle. Start 
to warm up the energy. Leave that for the session. And over to start some work on the head. Definitely a very creative person, but it's also very challenging for you. That creativity doesn't always just flow naturally. You really had to work hard on it. Just scraping away at it again. metal. I'm just going to be activating the meridians. Lift your head gently for me. I'm going to gather your hair here. some gentle patterns on the face and just trying to open up that third eye around the point here Occasionally hear me make gentle sounds, it just helps me focus my energy, focus my mind. body
to place one on your chest, one on the forehead. some feathers here. I'm just going to be sweeping away. If it's too um, uncomfortable, let me know. I'm going to go a little vigorous because you have a lot of strands here. I would consider you probably a pretty empathetic person. You carry a lot of other people's burdens. When you hear a story sad story or it affects you a little deeper than it does other people even if you don't think it does carry it with you all over the eyes energy that's come down out through the root chakra. All of our energy flows generally from top to bottom, but it is cyclical as well. Okay. Red view some beads. I am going a little bit more vigorous for you than I do for some people. The shell is pretty hardened here. And you might not need this for your second session either. Tell you're a somewhat skeptical person. Got that uncertainty to you. Not as trusting as some other people. Possibly from past experience. Just gonna move this. I'm gonna place this on your stomach. Tell me if it is. Too intense, all right. Is that all right like that? Okay. Move everything in a few moments. I'm gonna do some stone work first. So I'm gonna do obsidian for you and clear quartz. Obsidian is good for resetting, clear quartz for clarity, and that should help with that mental blockage.
that's what we're doing. Just gently grasp and we can relax the other way. Gently grasp and relax the other way. I'm going to remove my bracelets and keys. Gonna perform some light work here, so keep the eyes closed. And you may hear some humming as well. I'm just gonna be matching the frequencies of the light and seeing which light you need with the frequencies of my voice here. Mm. I think that's okay. We might do a little bit more of that later. The body was responding quite well to it. We'll do it with the, the tuning forks. a bit of a pit here near the sacral chakra. Oftentimes this reflects an anxiety, that feeling of a pit in your stomach. gentle sweeping Vigorous. Breathe in, blow out. Oh, 
stones, ward off negative spirits. Things that are negative for you may be positive for someone else. It's all about what serves you. Gentle scraping on the face. next to the head here. Place a few stones actually. I'm going to press some pressure points here. Feel a little bit like massage, but very intentional placement. This is where some of those intense thoughts and feelings may start to come up. My gem wands here. Just trying to untangle those last few cords here. be doing some more frequency work this time with the tuning forks you want to work on the root chakra so we have the corresponding stone placing it by the root
connecting it to the crown. Again, increasing flow, encouraging communication throughout the body. Solar plexus, again, we see it here. You're going to hear sound circling. Finally, our crown chakra. Sharing that crown chakra vibration all the way down to the root, encouraging flow, encouraging openness. Moving that. And we'll go ahead and start to wind down our session. Want to put some essential oil into the air just to embrace another sense. So just breathe normally. I'm just going to be walking it. And cyc cyclical is the word of the day for you. We'll end the session how we started it with some warmth from our candles. And some gentle grounding. Distinguishing the light from our candles, signifying the end of the light of our session. I want you to slowly start bringing back some awareness. I'll stimulate the nerves in the face, the sensory experience to bring you back into our realm here. 
And I want you to slowly open your eyes, blink them, get used to the lights. How are you feeling, Claudia? Good. Good. Well, I think for you, the most important thing is just to be open. Um, open to new experiences, which obviously today you came in, which was great. Um, but you know, don't be so fearful of trusting others. Mm. I think the, the body is a little bit closed off. And we just want to open it up and see how that feels, okay? Um, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and uh, take this with you when you go. Thank you.